are you just weak now? We're hearing all this stuff about how hot it's going to be, that it's the hottest year on earth. The records are just breaking everywhere. We've all heard it by now, right? It, it, power grids are fixing to start collapsing and everything. If you grew up before, let's just say 1990 and back, you grew up playing outside. You stayed outside most of the day, right? Until your parents called you home. You were outside. You may not even had air conditioning in your home. You know, your car probably didn't have air conditioning. Who remembers rolling the windows down and the wind blowing? That was your air conditioning, right? That's how you got cooled off in a vehicle. Well, now everybody's got, not everybody, but the vast majority of people in the United States have air conditioned. They got air conditioned vehicles. They don't go outside much. You know, they might walk from their car to their house to a store, you know, but they're not outside very long. So have we become weaker and what do I mean by that? When we were younger, you know, air conditioning was a luxury. You know, rich people had the air conditioning. They had the cars with the air conditioner, right? Well, now we're so accustomed to air conditioning everywhere we go, stores, everywhere, unless you're going to an outside event like a football game concert or something like that. You're accustomed to it. So your body has lost being used to the heat. So now when it's 90 degrees and you walk outside, you're like, man, this is hot. But when you were younger, and you were a kid, maybe you were outside 90 degrees. You was like, yeah, it's hot, but I'm still gonna go over here and play. I'm gonna ride my bike, right? You might have sweated, but you know that's just the way it was. You, you know, you got cool at night. You opened your windows, which nowadays in a lot of places you can't even open your windows when you go to bed because somebody's gonna break in and steal your stuff, right? So, what would happen if the power grid goes down here? It'll be bad because people are so used to. I made videos before, y'all know if it's above 60 degrees, I pour sweat. I've always been like that my whole life, don't know why, but I do. I pour sweat above 60 degrees and in the winter I put off heat. When we played football, everybody wanted to stand around me because they called me like a heater. They could feel the heat coming off of me. But I also grew up, you know, working at sawmills, working at logging and stuff like that in the middle of the summer. And this heat we're seeing, to me when they say this, these record heat waves, you know, I'm thinking it was this hot when I was a kid or it was this hot a couple years ago. But all we're hearing is how every day, you know, if you go outside, you're going to melt into a puddle and die because it's so hot. You also got to understand when I was growing up, the weatherman told you a certain way your thermometer had to be put up to give you an accurate reading. It had to be between four and six feet, preferably on the north side of the building kind of in the shade with where the air could pass by it and nowhere near a structure, pavement, or concrete, right? Because that's a heat sink and it raises the temperature. Where are these thermometers now, you know? Are they on the side of buildings? Are they, are they at the airports? Where are they? We don't know, you know? I mean, you've seen it. If you've got a car now with a thermometer on it, you go outside, it's 98 degrees, and you crank the car up, it says 120 in it, right? So where are these temperatures coming from? The power grid failure issue is because so many people now want to run their air conditioner. And plain and simple. It's hot, I'm going to turn on my air conditioner, right? I'm not saying it's wrong to do that. But if we can't support running your air conditioners during a heat wave, how can you charge electric vehicles during a heat wave? Makes no sense, right? Because our power grid is not set up for all this green energy they want. It makes absolutely no sense. Are they going to make airplanes that are flying on battery power? Think about that. It's just, it's a, it's a dream that they want. But I personally think the reason it feels so hot to us now is we're not accustomed to the heat. We get older, our body doesn't like the heat. You know, like I don't like it. It doesn't like the cold. It's just the way we're programmed as humans, you know, that it's, I don't personally think it's any hotter now than it has been in the past. And if you go back in the past, they always say since records were kept, right? How do we know that back in the 1500s, 1400s, it wasn't hotter than this because they weren't weathermen writing down temperatures, right? We don't know that. But they want to scare you every time they can. Oh, it's 100 degrees today. With that heat index, oh boy, it's going to be pushing 140. Don't go outside. Now, a lot of people confuse May and June with summer. They think summer starts the first warm day that comes along in April or May. Well, that's the start of summer, right? No, it starts in June. We're only like, what, six weeks, five to six weeks into summer now? And our hottest part of the year here in Alabama is still to come. You know, August, and we even get hot in September here. 
and stay hot. So, I mean, it's going to continue to be hot. It's summer, guys. It's time for it to be hot outside. Who remembers back before summer started, people were complaining because it was too cool. See? Ridiculous, right? Absolute ridiculous. Me, personally, I prefer it 60 degrees all year round. Actually, 59 all year round. Because when you hit 60, I'm sweating. But all this talk about the power grid failing and all this, it could happen. It could. And ask yourself, if that does happen, how are we going to be able to charge electric vehicles if we all go green, right? That's where we are now. We have become a soft society, you know. So like I'm saying, we're not accustomed to the heat, so, oh, it's going to be hot. And when this winter comes, you watch, they're going to be screaming about how it's so cold outside, you're going to go outside and freeze to death instantly. And it's because we're not accustomed to it. People don't spend time outside no more. They, the minimum amount of time they got to be outside, that's what they do. Kids, too, are the same ways. Unless they play sports, they're outside, right? If not, they're in the house on their phones, on their laptops, or doing whatever kids do nowadays, right? So is this weather all new that it's never been hot before in the summer? No. And another thing, I said this in a video a couple days ago. When I was growing up, it was like the high is going to be 100 and it's going to be muggy. That's what they said. Now they say it's going to be 100 and the heat index is going to be 150. Why not just call it 150 degrees, right? Because that's not the actual temperature. You got to understand too, read, I'll put a link down here in the description of exactly how and where your thermometer should be to get an accurate reading of where, where you're at. You know, a lot of these temperature readings, they could be coming from airports you know, sitting there on a concrete building with pavement right in front of them, they're getting those readings, right? They could be coming from in the city. Anybody knows that's lived in the country and you go into a big city with all them buildings, how much hotter it feels in that city. It feels like you're walking through an oven, right? I mean, this isn't nothing new, guys. The, the more they scream that this is something new, the more I just sit there and laugh. Tell you a little bit why we haven't been making videos here this past week. Haven't been doing too good, we're getting better. We've been having a few issues. Some of y'all know I'm diabetic. We've been having some issues with the sugar running about 400. So we've been, I've been taking it easy, trying to get it down. Ain't really felt good. Bad dizziness, all that stuff. But I'm doing better. We get back to making these videos. I hope everybody is still prepping. If you haven't watched it today, go watch my short. I got a McGregor Palisade hiking backpack, frame backpack for $8 at a yard sale, y'all. Eight bucks, 80 liters can't beat those prices get out there at yard sales and stuff we got the longest yard sale coming up here i think next week or the week after get out there and find you some deals on prepping you don't have to pay full price at the store you know go out there and save you some money and find something at a yard sale but let me know your thoughts on this right here on this weather i mean is it seriously the hottest year ever is it seriously that you know we've just become such a weak society that we can't take the heat do you agree with me that we're just not accustomed to it no more? We're, we're accustomed to everywhere being heated and cooled, you know, air-conditioned spaces. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed and you're not going to, be sure to hit the thumbs down on your way out the door. Stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Be aware of surroundings at all times. Protect yourself and your family at all times. At that moment, you're the only person that can do it. Get out there and keep prepping and find you some deals at yard sales or junk stores or second-hand stores, all that stuff. Go look for some deals. You don't have to pay full price for prepping gear. Regardless of what these other people want you to do, you know, want you to go to their website and buy stuff, get out and find you a deal. Save you some money. Stay safe and keep prepping.